So it's basically like one road that comes into town and one road that goes out of town. They're both tiny, tiny dirt roads. So one day I just started walking down one of them. I had no idea what I was going to come to. I just kept walking. So I come walking up to this village. It's probably like seven houses. Maybe, maybe 30 people. The first person who catches sight of me is this little girl who like comes out of her little house. And she looks to the right and just this like blank stare goes over her face. <laughs> and there's, I was certain that no foreigner had ever walked into this village before. These little boys were playing in the street. And the first thing that happened was one of them comes up to me, he's got a parrot on a stick. And he puts the, the parrot on top of my head. <laughs> So I've just ride and I'm like, ah! And there's this parrot dancing on the top of my head and all these little like Bolivian boys are laughing. <laughs> I'm like dancing around the street, seriously trying to get like the parrot off my head. And then like all the villagers slowly like come out into the street to see what the fuss is all about. And there I am like spinning around in circles with a parrot on my head. Dude, there was this one, the parrot boy as I call him, I guess it was his parrot. He had the parrot on a stick. And then he was running around terrorizing all the other kids by, by sticking the parrot on him, just as he did me. <laughs> and I was just, you just have that sense of being like in a completely different world. You're just like, where am I? And then some older kids came over, they had a soccer ball. And the soccer ball kind of made its way over to me and I started juggling it. Then the boys were like, let's go down to the field and play. And I was like, you have a field? So I just, I couldn't say no. Thank God, because we go walking down this steep hill. And we come down to this field and I catch a glimpse of it. And it is the most incredible destination for a soccer pitch on the planet. Just the Andy, the jagged Andes Mountains in the background. The sky was as blue as I've ever seen the sky. And we're so high up, basically on a cliff. And then I really wanted to try to capture like a video of me playing with them in this incredible location. So I mounted the, the camera like in the weeds and propped it up and turned on the video and ran down there and, and uh, played with the kids for a little bit. It's always when you wander off into a direction that's not on a map, it's not in a lonely planet, no travel guides, no tours. And you just, just always, it's, it's been so consistent for me that it's just incredible. Like I knew, at some level, I knew that there was just like an incredible experience waiting out there. So I just kept walking, you know, for three hours. And I came across this village and playing with the boys with the parakeet on their head and then down and find that soccer field. I mean, that never ever would have happened if you stayed on the beaten path and just followed, you know, the Gringo Trail and hit all the big, all the big sites. So I think when everyone travels, I think we're all looking, we're all looking for something, for different things. But I think at the same time, we're all looking for just those unique, incredible travel experiences, those memories that you'll never forget. And that was one of those for me. And, and the only reason I got that experience, the only reason I turned that, that day into something you know, a day with nothing planned into a day that was the highlight of, of my trip really in South America up to that point was because I wandered off the path. <laughs>